construction ng pangatlong tulay na magdudugtong ng Panglao Island at Tagbilaran City sa Bohol, bakit nga ba natigil? Ang update sa 6.9 billion pesos Panglao Tagbilaran Offshore Connector Bridge Project, panoorin at alamit. The Philippines is an archipelago of 7,640 islands. Due to the lack of infrastructure investment in the last five decades, the cost of transport goods within the country has been expensive. The 2.1 km San Juanico Bridge, which was built in 1969, is still the longest bridge 50 years after. This will be no longer be the case with President Duterte's mega bridge project, a series of short and long span bridges linking island provinces to eventually connect Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao via land travel. According to Department of Public Works and Highways Secretary Mark Villar, eight bridges under the mega bridge master plan are in the advanced stages. One of which is the Panglao Tagbilaran City Offshore Connector Bridge Project. The 1.2 km 4 lane Panglao Tagbilaran Offshore Connector Bridge will connect Bohol to the island municipalities of Dawis and Panglao. The said offshore connector bridge also involves the construction of two 42.7 meter short span bridges and 1.39 km approach roads for a total length of 2.71 km consisting of bridge and roads. The construction of the offshore bridge will improve connectivity between the new Bohol Panglao International Airport and the Tagbilaran Fast Crop Terminal and enhance the intermodal transport between two major terminals. Tourists coming from Cebu can go straight to Panglao's tourist areas via the offshore bridge upon disembarking from fast crops or passenger vessels. Likewise, tourists from Manila who will take a plane to Panglao may also use the offshore bridge going to Tagbilaran City Port to visit Cebu and without passing through Bohol's regular traffic. As of the moment, there are two existing bridges connecting Tagbilaran City and Panglao Island, hence the name Third Bridge. The first bridge is in a causeway as City Ubos Poblacion Uno in Tagbilaran City, going towards Totolan Dawis, while second bridge starts at the junction of Mansasa in Tagbilaran, leading to Poblacion Dawis. Construction of the two short span bridges spanning 42.7 meters and its 1.39 kilometer approach road has already started in 2018, although construction was halted earlier this year. A local Department of Public Works and Highways official has clarified that the implementation of the multi-billion bridge project is still pushing through. According to DPWH First Engineering District Head, Engineer Francis Flores, construction works of the third bridge between Tagbilaran City and the resort island of Panglao have been suspended pending the acquisition of road right-of-way needed for the project. A budget has been allocated in obtaining the road right-of-way but negotiations between the DPWH regional legal team and landowners in the area are still ongoing. The DPWH legal team has regularly been in Bohol for the negotiations. However, Flores said that they could not determine when the construction of the bridge, which is still on its first phase, will resume. It is planned that the main connector bridge will be constructed once the approaches on both sides of Panglao Island and Tagbilaran City will be completed. 
as of January 2021, the submission of the Department of Public Works and Highways for the Panglao Tagbilaran Offshore Connector Bridge Project for review by the National Economic Development Authority Investment Coordination Committee has opened doors to availing Overseas Development Assistance Grant. This was bared by NEDA Undersecretary Jonathan Uy to Congressman Edgar Chato, the proponent of the project when he was still governor of Pohol. This project was initially proposed for local financing with 500 million interchange approach now ongoing construction in Songkulan, Dawis and the 200 million approach in Tagbilaran City also due for implementation. The project was presented to NEDA ICC Technical Board last December 9, 2020, during which the board decided to revisit the project upon DPWH confirmation of the proposed bridge design and submission of revised economic analysis. These were based on expected budgetary timelines and readjusted implementation period reflecting corresponding investment and capital expenses and factoring in the possible delays that may be caused by COVID-19 pandemic. DPWH submitted its responses through letter last December which NEDA received this January. NEDA Undersecretary Uy informed Chato that NEDA is currently reviewing DPWH submission and is looking at discussing the project anew with the NEDA ICC Technical Board. The said mega bridge project has a whooping budget of 6.9 billion to be financed through local GAA and ODA grant. An amount of 700 million was released in 2018 and 2020 for the construction of short span bridges and approach roads. Construction of the main iconic Cable State Bridge will be funded under Official Development Assistance Grant or ODA. It is expected to be finished by year 2024. Once completed, the Panglao Tagbilaran City Offshore Connector Bridge will reduce the travel time from Panglao City Seaport to Panglao Island from 45 minutes to only 15 minutes. Its completion is seen to ease traffic caused by the development of swords owing to the operation of the Bohol Panglao International Airport, which expected to draw up to 2 million passengers annually, especially once travel restrictions are lifted after the COVID-19 pandemic. What do you think about the update of the Panglao Tagbilaran City Offshore Connector Bridge Project? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell.